What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Gloss Garage where we make detail and simple. My name is Sock and today I have something special for you guys. So today, today we're going to be talking about what are my favorite compounds, polishes, AIOs, and also, you know, just my hybrids, you know. So we're just going to talk about that. And when I mean hybrid, it's more of, you know, it can cut and it can also finish, meaning you can use it as a compound or a polish or a finishing polish, depending on your application and what you're trying to achieve. Let's go ahead and let's get started. I have everything laid out here of everything that I've used in my detailing business in the past. I even have some current things laying around, you know, Wheels Garage, Fast Correcting Cream, but there's some stuff like PNS uh, Restoration Polish, those type of stuff, I've already used them up and we'll just talk about it more in the video. So I'm gonna move you guys in closer so you guys can go ahead and see. And then at the end, I will show you guys right here on the bottom, my go-tos that I'm using now and why I use them. And I'm gonna keep this video pretty short, 10 to 15 minutes tops. And if you guys like this type of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It will be a different format. So I'm gonna bring you guys in closer and we'll just talk about each one, my pros, my cons, and that's about it. It's just gonna be quick, simple, based on my techniques, and we'll just talk about it more once we get started. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's just start on the compounds, and none of these are in order. It's just more of what I like to use, and I apologize for the noise in the back. But yeah, so let's go ahead and start, and I will talk about the pros and cons for each one, in my opinion. So in first, I have the last cut compound, which is pretty much this one right here. And the reason why I like this one is for the simple fact that I can use this in direct sunlight. Uh, you know, sometimes I actually, you know, have my garage door all the way open and stuff. And when I compound and polish, the sun is sitting on the panel, the panel could get hot and I can compound with this and it gives a long working time. It doesn't dry up as quick. And then from here, I have the Oberg Supreme Cut. Oh, and the other thing why I love this one before I go to the Oberg Supreme Cut, it does not stain trim. Yes, it will stain trim if you're going to go ahead and use speed six on the polisher with a wool pad, it's going to cut and stain the trim. You just gotta be cognitive on how you're doing it in speed setting four, you know, speed setting three, four, and just no pressure whatsoever. That's how you're gonna get the best type of results. Now here we're gonna go with the Supreme Cut from O. Burke. What I really like about this compound is that it did not dust, right? pretty much minimal dusting but you don't have the huge work time that you really want. And, but over, overall, it just didn't dust when I used it. So that's something I really enjoyed. In terms of staining trim, you may stain trim. Just go ahead and, you know, use some masking tape, automotive masking tape to go ahead and tape off those trims if that is your concern. But all in all, I love this one. Also, Rios Garage Fast Correcting Cream and this, this, I barely have anything left here. And I, it smells like coconuts, it smells great. Pretty much just, it smells almost like the last cut. But the one thing is you gotta be careful with trim. It will stain trim even if you accidentally graze up, upon the trim. Definitely use their masking tape. It's definitely needed because if you don't, you will not have a fun time. But it cuts great and it finishes down nicely and it has a long working time as well. And this is why I chose these three pretty much. I'll say it as right now in general, these three are my favorites just because of the long work time that you're able to get as a true compound, especially if it's hot outside, humid, it just, it just doesn't dry up and dust as quick as others, which I've used Car Pro Clear Cut. And that just does just, just like crazy. And even this one that I've I'm gonna mention right here, Rupes Course dust a lot as well. I don't like Rupes Course. And then the PNS compound, which I have in my possession right here. I've had this compound for three years already, literally three years and I've only used up to here. And that's just because I will take in and use it once in a while, while specifically in winter time, I will go ahead and use this compound because this dust a lot. It, it, you really gotta work in a two by two section. It's a water soluble type of compound. And after three section passes, you're already in dust city. So that's just, that's just the only thing about this, which, yeah, so that's about it. That's all the compounds that I've really used in my detailing business. And those are my pros and cons, but my top three, if I recommend any, 
I will go ahead with the Oberg Supreme Cut, the last cut, and the Griot's Garage Fast Correcting Cream. They have long work time. They go ahead and, you know, leave a nice finish where when you do your second polish, it's not going to be, you know, detrimental or hurt you because you don't have to do multiple steps because it, it doesn't leave a crazy heavy defect behind like other compounds. But yeah, those are my top three. Now, if I was to choose my favorite one, it would have to be the last cut just because it doesn't stain trim. That's just about it. And I could work in hot degree weather. I could, you know, use this compound a lot more in heat. So let's go ahead and talk about polishes on which I have. So first up is DA Fine. I've used this a bunch here. The only thing is you gotta tape off plastic trim. That's about it. You will stain plastic trim with this. It works great. It finishes down nice, especially on softer paints and it leaves that nice finish on the paint. Then up that I've used before is Optimum Hyper Polish. And this is how much I have left. I haven't used this in about like a year and a half, probably more over here. If you can see the date that says 21, it was made. So it's been like two years, but yeah, so I really haven't used this um, much anymore, but it's just because of the simple fact that it leaves a super, uh, oily residue on the paint and at the same time it just doesn't finish down as it used to back in the days like 2019 2018 i don't know if what they did with the formulation but to me it just feels like they just added more oils on top of it and it just doesn't finish or cut the way you want it to as a polish now the next thing i have up is griot's garage correcting cream i don't have it here because nothing everything don't fit on this table but i have it inside it's a great uh, correcting compound for just like one steps if you're doing a one step as well i enjoy it it just does just a little bit in my opinion uh just based on my application and again you have to tape off plastic trim then after this i have although i know it's a polish but this is more of a finishing polish is rupes uno pure i've used this a bunch as you can see I love this as a ultra finishing one step when you're going ahead and doing finicky paints to the point where you're gonna go ahead and coat right after. All you gotta do is just wipe off the um, the polish. Make sure you wipe it off good because if you leave that wipe, that wipe off streak of polish and you coat right over it, then you're gonna look like you left a high spot or a little ghosting effect. But that's just because you didn't wipe off the Uno Pure, but you can literally coat right over this, which I've never had an issue with any coating. After that, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the McKee spray polish. I purchased that spray polish and it just wasn't my favorite. It just smelled, didn't smell good in my opinion. And also it left like a weird hazy type of finish on the paint. So I went ahead and I, I just threw that out. Uh, I used it like once or twice thinking it was my technique, but I don't know if it just didn't cut enough or I was just working it too long. All in all, I just didn't really enjoy that experience with the McKee's hyper polish. Next is Oberg Polish. If you guys haven't seen my Oberg video, I've used this polish and it worked phenomenal, especially when I did it on a three-step. Now, in terms of staining polish, uh, staining trim, I'm not too sure about it, staining trim. I was just very careful, but when I polish, I do no pressure, especially if I'm doing a two-step. Now, the other one, I've used this on the Genesis GV70, the Angel Wax Regenerate worked phenomenal. There was no plastic trim on that paint. So I'm not gonna say it doesn't stain plastic trim. Just be careful with that. And yes, so that's all I have really on these polishes. Now, all in all, which ones are my go-tos for as polishes or just one of my favorites if I'm gonna go ahead and choose a polish. Well, based on smell, I will go with the Griot's Garage Correcting Cream, which I enjoy a lot. And that's pretty much Oh, and um, and Supreme Polish, these those two will be like my go-tos if I was to choose a designated polish. These work great. I just don't really like the smell of it, and I don't like the huge work time. They work great, but I'm just saying overall as a whole, if I was to go in order, it would be Supreme Polish, Griot's Garage Correcting Cream, um, Angel Wax Regenerate then go ahead and choose Optimum Hyper Polish. And then for the super light finishing jobs where I could coat right over is the Rupes Uno, not, not protect, um, Rupes Uno Pure. So yeah, that's what I'll use. Now let's move on to the AIOs. So the AIOs, I have Rupes Uno Protect, which I enjoy. The only thing I dislike about this is that it, 
you just have to leave it on for 20 minutes before you have to go ahead and buff it off. And me as a detailer, when I work outside or it's humid or it gets super hot in my garage, it tends to get sticky. And yes, you could use, you know, bean maker, you could use ceramic gloss, you could use whatever spray detailer you want to go ahead and remove the actual product, but it's just too much work. It's great because it doesn't stain plastic trim. Phenomenal. Just does an overall great job, but yeah, that's just it with Rupes Uno Protect. Now, in terms of drive, you know, ceramic AIO polish and also their regular polish, I love these two. The only thing about the ceramic all-in-one is it's great in two aspects, but it's bad in, in another. So pretty much you could coat a vehicle right over this, act like a primer polish, but when you use it as a primer polish, it just doesn't give that extra cut that you really want. And it's just a pro and con in that way, right? It depends how much defects the vehicle has and what are you trying to achieve. Now, in terms of their infinite gloss, it cuts a little more than their ceramic AIO, but it just leaves just a beautiful finish. And I love that it's just a wipe off right away. This is where these two beat Uno Protect. And then which I have here is Blackfire AIO that I've used that I've enjoyed a lot. I don't have it here. I've used that bottle up already. It's a great AIO as well. But in terms of an order which I would choose, which is my favorite AIO is this Drive Auto Appearance, just their regular AIO, just because you can, you get a little more cut than the ceramic AIO and also it wipes off right away. You can wipe off right away this. It's just, I like the cut and the finish that you get with this just because you could cut a little more and do a little more correction. Now, as for the hybrids, I have Owner's Pride Compound and the Gold Standard Polish that you guys have seen me use time and time again. I have a video coming up with the Owner's Pride Compound. I have 3D1 and Oberg Soul. So these are what I call the hybrids because they are pad dependent. Meaning, depending on what type of pad you get, if it's an aggressive um, pad, you will get an aggressive type of cut and finish. But in terms of, you know, my favorites, I'm gonna go ahead and say this in order. And the reason why is just a matter of preference at this point. So Soul will come in third place. The only reason is, it's not sprayable. It doesn't have like a, a pleasant smell like these two if smell is your thing. And that's about it. Those are the only two really. Oh, and you gotta be, uh, I was pretty careful with plastic trim. I'm not too sure if it stains trim, but you know, I would still be careful with trim. They don't advertise that it says that it does not stain plastic trim. So these are the things that, you know, it's just to be wary of. And that is why I put this in third place. Now for second place, this was, this was really hard, but it comes down to preference. And my main preference is I like the spray polish aspect. I love to go ahead and spray my polishes and I will go with the DIY detail gold standard. And here's the crazy part. The OP compound does do cut a little bit better than the gold standard, but the gold standard, I just love, I just love it overall, just uh, because of the spray aspect of the actual, you know, hybrid compound or polish, whatever you want to call it. But that's the reason why this is in first place. Second place, I give it to, this is just a strong, the, these two are just, just great in their own worlds. Um, so I will put these as my favorite and then Oberg Soul as my third. 3D1, I don't really enjoy it. It, it. it dries up super quick and it gets annoying to buff off the paint. But these three, a long work time, work phenomenal. You could use this in direct sunlight. And yeah, so that's pretty much it here. So in first place, I'll go with DIY Gold Standard, OP Compound for my second place. And again, this is just a strong, this is just impossible. You can't go wrong with either three. The only two is for sure that I enjoy the most is just these two. Now let's go ahead and talk about the last part, which is just my go-tos and it's released right here. And that's it. Like I said, this video will be like 15 minutes long. I'm not trying to make it too long, but yes. So here are my go-tos. My go-tos are the DIY Gold Standard Polish, OP Compound, Oberg Soul, The Last Cut, 
Oberg Supreme Cut, because again, I love these two compounds for sure. Uh, Rupes Uno Pure, I love that finishing aspect. And the Drive, the Drive AIO Polish. All right, so, so hopefully you guys enjoy this type of content. If you guys want me to make a video of me using each product and then showing the pros and cons, just go ahead and let me know. I do have a test hood and I'll go ahead and do it on a test hood. And yeah, so I didn't want to make this video long. Hopefully you guys enjoy this type of content. All the products will be down below in the description. If you guys want 10% off any owner's pride products, use code ECOWASH the world for 10% off. And if you guys want 10% off any DIY detail products, use code DMS at checkout. And if you guys want 10% off any Oberg products, use code DMS at checkout in all caps. And yeah, so that is my thing. Oh, I forgot to put take out soul because I have Oberg soul. Yep and Oberg Soul. So these are my top picks. So, yep, there we go. So I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.